Here is a WCI air conditioner. I'm not exactly sure what the capacity is. Unfortunately, the data sheet is gone. It looks like the information was stamped. So, if I clean that up and look at it under some good light, it's possible I'll be able to decipher some more of the information. This unit is circa 19. 67, 68, somewhere in there. And this is the one that has the 30 amp plug. I know the 18,000 BTU model still had the 20 amp plug. So this has got to be, I would say, at least 24 maybe or greater. It's definitely pretty high capacity. Got a reciprocating compressor which you can't see because the lighting in here isn't very good. Westinghouse. Ooh, decent condition for the age. You know, these are, you got to figure these are, are over 50 years old at this point. They've been exposed to the elements, most of them for the entirety of their life. And to get these in even working order at this point is. Is kind of impressive because nobody takes care of these kind of things. Well, we're just going to do a quick test on this today. I'm not going to run it for too long because we're not plugging it up in a way that's really good. Um, get the meter out here so we can do a temperature check. Our ambient temperature is about 74 in here. Stick this in here. And uh, this is what I'm going to use to plug it in. This is an illegal 20 amp to 30 amp adapter. I'm only doing this because I've already checked the amp draw on the compressor uh, when it was connected to a proper outlet. And it was only about 14. And this is not a high, high load condition here. So I expect it will remain around 14 and the fan probably pulls I don't know two or three amps maybe more if it's a PSC motor I don't know uh, what kind of motor it is I haven't checked it out that closely yet the backing for the control panel does exist but I forgot it at Russ's house unfortunately I guess I was just too tired when I was leaving and forgot about it um, alright so that's the selector this should be our thermostat. That just clicked off. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in now. Hopefully it's off. Not really sure. Alright, let's see here. Fan bearings seem to be perfectly free still after 55 something years. Alright, let's turn this thing on. Hopefully, it'll start up. Our electrical situation is a little flaky here, so I'm not sure. There's a chance it might not, but let's give it a shot.
top to the bottom. There is airflow on the bottom. Still got tons of airflow. So condenser survived that whatever that happened there. And it's throwing off some serious heat already. Seems to have a good charge. You can hear it come under load pretty quick. And now it's almost silent. I remember that about this unit. The compressor was very, very quiet. Already got our past our Delta 20. That's both really cold. That's powerful. Cord's not heating up at all, so it can't be that bad. out of the wind stream here. That would seem pretty stable around 47, which uh, the temperature in here yeah, yeah, is 74. So to get 47 out of 74 is quite good. going back cold. I lost the breaker. So it must be pulling just a hair over 20 amps. Nothing was heating up. My 12 gauge extension cord wasn't heating up at all. And it ran for a good 10 minutes or so. Uh, but then it, it tripped. So it, it must be pulling like 21 amps or something right on the edge um, or what also could happen is because it got hot in here the load on the compressor went up and it started pulling more power so but it works it works good it was blowing 47 46 through the whole test um, worked consistently and uh, yeah it's a, an awesome machine and I can't wait to get this thing installed.